it really got bad. I mean, really banging and wind, and it went on for what I thought was forever. And all of a sudden, it got quiet. So that's when I went out and looked out the front door, and I could see water coming down the street. It's coming down the street like a small tidal wave. So we grabbed up our two puppies and ran upstairs, and by the time we looked back, it was up coming up the stairs behind us. That's how quick it came in. And we finally got the door cracked open enough that we could get out. And then it looked like a bomb had gone off. And then we heard Gina. She was just screaming, running down the road, carrying Matthew. And that was her two-year-old. And, I mean, he was just limp in her arms. And I kept going, what is she saying? She's screaming, someone help me, someone help me. He's dead. She had walked the tracks home and found Matthew was in the kitchen above the cabinets. And then her husband was on the floor in the kitchen. So... They both drowned in the house. And all we did was found a sheet in the house and wrapped him up and you had to sit there with him. And no one came. I mean, we sat there for an entire day. No one could move the bodies until the coroner came. So I, don't, I really don't know when they finally got him. And my dad's a minister, and so I kind of believe that you're put in places for certain reasons. And so all I could do to her was quote scripture. You know, that's all I, that came to mind. I mean, how am I going to make this woman deal with this? And she said, you know, I do nothing but good. Why has God done this to me? You know? And all I could do was try and quote scripture that made sense. I had seen Gina, you know, in her yard doing all her stuff. She had a lot of plants and stuff. We had never met until that day. That was the first time we met. And the day he died was his birthday. He would have been two that day. They had a big party planned and, you know. Life's a little different now than before. I think um, me and my son talk about it a good bit, or we did for a long time, that, you know, this is just stuff. And he would, he would say, you know, well, Mom, Matthew would just like to be here. And I'm like, oh, yeah. That brings it all into perspective.